Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 2 from IMO 2023. So this is a geometry problem. Since there aren't any computer algebra systems allowed during the exam, I would rather draw the diagrams manually. So you will see that I have drawn a diagram manually. And if you haven't thought about this problem, I uh, suggest that you spend at least half an hour, probably much longer than that, a couple hours, maybe more, even more. And if you solve the problem, then you can come back and compare your solutions because I'm sure this problem is going to have a bunch of different solutions. And if you haven't solved the problem, then come back and see how I think about this problem and how I'm able to approach the problem and finally get a solution. I'll start from scratch. So the first thing is, here is the diagram. What were the conditions in the problem? S is the midpoint of arc BC. Then they drop a perpendicular. The point of intersection is D. The point of intersection of AE and BS is D. Then they draw the line parallel to BC from D. And the intersection of that line and BE is called L. Then they draw a circle through BD L, the intersection of that circle with the original circumcircle is called P. Then they want to show that the line tangent to the circle from P, the angle bisector of A and BS are concurrent. So these three uh, intersect at the same point. The first thing that I thought was I was trying to get rid of the point L because it looked like the only thing that we need is BDPL to be cyclic if i can find this angle then i would be able to find the angle bpd and that eliminates the need for point l because dl is parallel to bc that angle dlb is the same as this angle cbe but cbe subtends the same arc as the angle EAC. An angle EAC is 90 minus C. So this angle is 90 minus C, which means this angle is also 90 minus C, which means this angle is 90 minus C, which means that angle BPD is also 90 minus C. So I can just basically erase this. I can erase this one as well. And I can erase this. I don't need any of that. And what I know now is that the angle DPB is 90 minus C. Okay, so that's good. If you extend this uh, PD, I know that the arc AB is twice C, and I now know that this arc is twice 90 minus C, which is 180 minus 2C. In other words, the two arcs APB and B, this point, I'm going to call that A prime, add up to 180, which means A, B, A prime is a 180 degree arc, which means A and A prime are exactly on the opposite sides of the circle. So what does that mean? It means, I'm going to raise this, it means if I draw this line, this line goes through the center. So let me call the center O. This line would go through the center. Next thing was uh, trying to come up with some other angles in this diagram. So I looked at the arc AS. I know arc CS is half of arc BC. Arc BC is 2B plus 2C because arc CA is 2B, arc AC is 2C. So that adds up to 2B plus 2C. Since S is the midpoint, CS would be B plus C over 2. And then arc AAS would be 2B minus this quantity, minus B plus C, which would mean arc AS is B minus C. So this one is B plus C, and the other one is B minus C. Okay, so far we have found some arcs here. I tried, but I wasn't able to find arc AP. I don't think that, that could be found, at least not easily. But arc BE was pretty easy to find. Arc BE is just double the angle. This angle is 90 minus B, and arc BE becomes 180 minus 2B. So that means if I look at the angle here, that would be the average of 180 minus 2B and B minus C. And that is 180 minus B minus C over 2, which is A over 2. 
So that means the angle here is A over 2. So this is nice. Since this angle is A over 2, and the angle right here is also A over 2, so this angle is also A over 2, if I call this point K, and I'm not going to assume that PK is tangent to the circle, I'm going to prove that PK must be tangent to the circle. So that angle is A over 2. This angle is also A over 2. So that means this angle is also A over 2. So it's pretty easy to see that KA must be tangent to the circle BDA. If you don't see that, you can also see that by similar triangles. So we have two similar triangles. We have the triangle AKD, which is similar to triangle AKB. Those two triangles are similar, AKD and AKB are similar, because they both have the angle of A over 2, and they both have angle of K. So if you write down the ratios, you would get AK over KD equals, these two are sides of triangle AKD. Corresponding to AK is BK, and corresponding to KD is AK. So that tells us AK squared is equal to BK times DK. So now, if you look at the power of the point K with respect to the circle that we had originally right here, that would give you KD times KB, which is the exact same thing. So we need to prove, in order to prove KP is tangent, we need to prove KP squared is equal to that. In other words, if you combine these two, we need to prove AK and KP are the same. So what I did was I extended this, and I realized that this angle is a 90 degree angle because AA prime is the diam uh, diameter. If I call this point M, I have a right triangle. If you look at a right triangle, I'm going to draw the diagram here. A, P, M and then there's a K here. I want to show these two are the same. So that happens in right triangles if K is the midpoint. So in other words, instead of proving AK equals KP, I need to prove AK is equal to KM. So if I can prove this, then I'm done. How do we prove that? Um, now, what I noticed is if I do a little bit of angle chasing, I notice that if I extend this, I know this point is the midpoint. I notice that SA prime is parallel to AN. And that's not very difficult to see if you evaluate arc A prime N. How do we evaluate A prime N? Arc NC, arc NC is just A. And if you look at arc A prime C, arc A prime C is exactly double this angle is double the angle OAC and double the angle OAC is exactly 180 minus angle OAOC angle AOC is 2B so our A prime C is 180 minus 2B so that means if I look at N A prime, arc N A prime, it would be N C, which is A, minus 180 plus 2 B. And this is B minus C. So that means this arc is exactly B minus C. But I know that A S is also B minus C. So this means A N is parallel to S A prime. So these two are parallel. Now we are almost there. Instead of proving a k equals k m i'm going to write down the ratio because i have similar triangles i can write down the ratios now we now have similar triangles so we can write down if i call this point perhaps t um, i can say a k over s a prime is equal to k t over t s and k m over s a prime just using similar triangles again, would be dk over ds. So in order to show this equality of ak and km, I need to show kt over ts is equal to 
dk over ds, which is to say kt over dk is the same as ts over ds. Okay, so how do we show this? Now, if you think about this using a bit of angle chasing, you know these two are angles are congruent to each other. So that's a um, that's an angle bisector. KT over DS is going to be AT over AD. So this one is AT over AD. Now, if you look at the other one, AS is also another angle bisector, but it's an external angle bisector. And the reason is, if you look at this, so that's a 90 degree angle because we know that AN and SA prime are parallel and we know this angle is a 90 degree angle. Therefore, AS prime is an external angle bisector and, in an, and we have the angle bisector theorem both for internal angle bisectors and also for external angle bisectors. Let me remind you of this theorem, which is what I'm using here. So if I have the triangle ABC, and this is the angle bisector, and this is the, the external angle bisector, and if I call this one D prime, BD over DC is the same as AB over AC. This is the internal angle bisector. BD prime over D prime C is also the same as AB over AC. This is the external angle bisector theorem. And that brings me to the end of this solution. Now, I'm sure there are all sorts of different solutions to this. Some of this can be simplified if you are familiar with other techniques, more advanced techniques, but I would rather keep it uh, more elementary because most students are familiar with everything I, I talked about. So if you enjoyed this video, you can check out more videos on my channel about high school math competitions as well as college math competitions. And I will see you in another video.